The Bauchi State Government has signed a Memorandum of Understanding worth $1.5 billion with the resident cement company to establish a massive cement production plant in the state. The company will be located in Guana district of our Kelleri local government area and it is expected to produce 10 million tons of cement annually and generate employment opportunities for unemployed youth as well as stimulate economic growth and development in the northeastern region. Government representatives from Bauchi State who noted this during the signing ceremony of the document assured the company of its government commitment to providing an enabling environment for investors to thrive. Government representatives noted that the company would also construct a 100 megawatt electricity plant, a dam and a truck parking space among other social amenities to support the project, which is expected to benefit not only the company but also the host communities and the state at large. While noting that the company will attract foreign investment and boost its domestic revenue generation effort, which will grow the economy. The government also pledged to prevent any encumbrances that might hinder the smooth execution of the project. The current administration in Bauchi State has assured of the state's readiness to partner relevant investors in harnessing the abundant mineral and natural resources the state is endowed with and to assist in making the state financially independent. They also noted that the administration will partner the federal government to remove all administrative bottlenecks for the smooth actualization of the project. It also went ahead to appeal to other investors to come to the state and invest, assuring them of the state's readiness to secure lives properties and investments. The State Commissioner for Natural Resources, the Attorney General and the Commissioner for Justice signed the Memorandum of Understanding on behalf of the State Government while the Group Chairman of Resident Cement Company signed for the company. In other words, the Bauchi State Government is set to establish a cement factory as Resident Cement Company has expressed interest in setting up one of its plants in the Guana district of Al Kaleri local government area. The company's intentions were made known when a team of resident cement company paid a courtesy call to the government house of Bauchi State. The group chairman in that meeting conveyed the message to the government that the company was ready to build a 10,000 metric tons capacity cement company in Guana district of Akaleri local government area to assist in addressing the problems of unemployment in the state. The company also noted that they were taking advantage of the business-friendly climate the government had actually set up which they noted that will greatly contribute to the state's transformation and prosperity. They also lauded the government's warm reception accorded to the team and pledged to work with the government anytime an opportunity presented itself in order to grow and develop the economy of Bauchi State. In response, the government also noted that they had seen set machineries in motion for the success of the project which will create job opportunities for the unemployed and open ways to create wealth. The government also underlined its commitment to promoting economic growth and wealth production, opening up new opportunities, developing talent and creating partnerships with the federal government and development partners, thereby making Bauchi self reliance to ensure it has financial stability and freedom. Valued at approximately $1.5 billion, the cement factory is said to be a landmark project with far-reaching benefits across several sectors, all made possible through the government's hands-on approach and strategic partnership building efforts. According to them, the cement plant is projected to operate for up to 100 years becoming a lasting pillar for economic development in Bauchi State. This magnificent initiative is expected to inject new momentum into the state economy, create substantial job opportunities and enhance the quality of life for residents, all thanks to the government visionary planning. The factory according to the government is expected to create employment opportunities for over 10,000 skilled and unskilled youth across the state, addressing unemployment and providing career opportunities for local residents. The development of this factory underscores the government's commitment to tackling unemployment, a key issue affecting the state, and providing avenues for youth empowerment and poverty reduction. The price of cement has been a major matter of concern to the federal government of Nigeria, cement manufacturers and consumers. This concern stems from the perception that Nigeria has enough domestic resources and manufacturing capacity to produce and deliver cement at much lower prices to its citizens than it is presently doing. The concern is also fostered by the notion that Nigerian cement market is susceptible to price fixing because of its oligopolistic nature with three major actors, the Dangote Cement PLC, the Boa Group and Lafarge Africa PLC. These concerns became a matter of debate in 2021 in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The debate followed a motion that was moved by the then-Senator Ashiru Oyelola Issa 
and others on the need for liberalization of cement policy in Nigeria. The crux of Yisa's argument was that as of 2018, the installed capacity of cement producers was about 47.8 million metric tons annually, which according to him at the time was far above the estimated domestic consumption of about 20.7 million metric tons. Yet, the price of cement in Nigeria was about 240% higher than the global average. Being cognizant that cement takes a large share of domestic expenditure and the price of each commodity significantly impact the government's ability to provide the much needed infrastructural works required for growth of our economy. It is also worthy to note that the Nigerian cement market is oligopolistic in nature with three players with Dangote holding about 60.6%, Lafarge Africa holding about 21.8%, and Boa holding about 17.6%, largely dominating the same, therefore making it susceptible to price-fixing practices. The government at the time was convinced that if the status quo persists, the negative consequences on high prices on the economy will outweigh the benefit of producing cement locally. It is therefore strongly believed that there is an urgent need to encourage more local production of cement to satisfy the demand of Nigeria with a steady growth rate of approximately 3% per annum a housing deficit of 30 million units and less engagement of about 10.5 million workforce of the building and construction industry. Some time ago, there was an allegation that went viral on social media that Dangote was selling cement at a much lower price in Kotonou, public of Benin, than it does in Nigeria. It was a popular story that was published online and some of its headlines read, Netizens called out Dangote for selling cement at 5,200 Naira in Nigeria and 1,500 Naira in Benin Republic. The publication stated that a Twitter user identified as Dr. Penkin called out Dangote for selling his bag of cement for 5,200 Naira in Nigeria, despite the fact that the raw material is sourced locally in Nigeria. At that time, the tweet read, Dangote cement is produced in Nigeria. The raw material is sourced locally in Nigeria at almost zero cost. Nothing is imported, almost zero taxes, yet the price of cement at the time was 5,200 Naira in Nigeria and same was sold at Seme. In Benin Republic at 1,500 Naira, sit and explain to me. However, investigations were carried out and it was found to be false, as Dangote Cement at the time was not selling cement throughout the length and breadth of Benin Republic. The investigation at the time also revealed that the quality of cement Dangote put on sale in Nigeria was of higher grade than those sold in Kotonou, which is about 32.5 Aru. Furthermore, the average price of 50 kg or 32.5 arrow bag cement in Republic of Ben at the time was 6,216 Naira, which was about 4,200 Sefa at the time. Also commenting on the controversy trailing the alleged high price of cement in Nigeria, the chairman of Boa Group noted that it was not possible for cement to sell below 5,000 Naira at the time per kg, even if government will resort to importing the commodity. He however noted that it is important for more investors to come on stream in order to bring down the price of cement across Nigeria, which is why more investors are seeking ways to come on stream in order to set up more cement manufacturing plants to bring down the prices of cement and also make it available to the Nigerian populace.